Hello, welcome to my shack. It's Ricky G Z O R Z X. I know that because it says so there. Uh, welcome to 2026. Happy New Year. It got me thinking over the holiday uh, about using different types of data modes and what I could use with the, the setup I've already got, which works on FT8 and FT4. So I'm going to go through a few other data modes which you can try using exactly the same settings as you've already got. This is not a video on how to set these programs up. It's just a video to show you what the other options are available to you. So I'm going to go through some of the options. Bear with me because I'm still trying to use this software, this OBS video software. So I'm going to go through it and uh, we'll see if we can get you to use some other modes other than FT4 and FT8. <laughs> So, uh, it's comfy. At the moment, uh, we will see on our main display, this is my logger program. So this is using logger32. And uh, what we'll do is I'll start up GTDX. So you can see this running. Uh, we'll open it up and we'll put GTDX up. And hopefully you'll see if we click the right buttons, start, we should get JTDX up, which is the same as WSJTX by the way. It's just a software that I run to make it a bit easier for my login program. As you can see, uh, we're starting to decode FT4 on uh, 14.080. So we've all seen this and we move to FT8 and we can see the decodes there as well for FT8 when it comes through. You should be able to hear the tones in the background. So I'll wait for decodes to come up before I change modes. So again, FT8, I think most people are using FT8 nowadays. I know there's a lot of people who don't like data mode at all. So if, uh, if you don't like data mode, you might as well switch off now. <laughs> right, so the FT8, FT4, you can see all that. So we'll close that down now. So I'm not changing any audio settings or any software settings at all. So we'll go back to the main display, which is that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to run up a program called VARA. This program is very similar to FT8 and FT4. Sorry. So this should hopefully change frequency. You'll notice the frequency changing to a 14.105. And you should be able to hear the tones. Now this is very similar to FT8. Uh, you've probably heard these tones before. If you listen around the bottom end of the band. And this basically gives you an option of having a proper QSO. Uh, by talking to these stations. Uh, as the decodes. You can send beacons out. Which uh, tells people that you're on air. And that goes through to PSKD Porter. You can send CQs out, uh, and you can actually talk, have a proper conversation. Uh, if you look at the bottom part of this here, you'll see previous QSOs I've had, even receiving pictures uh, through the software. Uh, the software is free. It's called the Search for Vara AC, V A R A C. And uh, if you install the software, it's pretty much straightforward to set up. Uh, I've been trying to use it a um, little bit hit and miss just because there's not a lot of people using it. But maybe if more people give it a try, more people will start using it and get a bit more popular. It's been going for a couple of years. Uh, I've only recently heard about it. 
But uh, it's it's fun. It's good. You can you can do a lot of stuff on it. Like I say, it's uh, it's similar to FT8, uh, but more than just the uh, the changing exchanging reports. You get the option of having a QSO, and uh, it's all preset within the program. So that's better. That's pretty good. So let's close that one down. Now I'm going to open a program called DM seven eighty Digital Master seven eighty. Now this was part of the Ham Radio Deluxe suite of programs. I'm not sure whether you can download it as a separate entity. Uh, but if you notice, uh, we're on SSTV, so I might change the frequency to 14230. I don't know if anyone's going to be on. Oh, there's something transmitting now. And you can see in this little window, it starts to decode the SSTV. You can hear them tone to tone, they're very distinctive with SSTV. And you'll see that the actual program itself will uh, will save these these uh, pictures that you get on the bottom automatically. So when someone calls, it will automatically start to decode the pictures, and it, it can be really interesting just watching what what gets received. You don't have to transmit. Uh, I just I just like to sit there and sometimes leave the radio on 230 and you can hear the tones come through and you can start seeing the pictures come through so I just wait to see if anything pops up yeah, there's another picture coming through now so like I said, this program's called Digital Master 780. It's very good. It does more than SSTV. It does... Uh, I'll show you in a second after this one comes through. So there's no intervention at the moment off me for this... Uh, this picture. It, all the uh, the software aligns it for you and sets it all up and it decides what mode to receive it in. So this one's coming through now. And it's from Spain as well for free Delta Kilo Papa. So what should happen is once it's decoded, that picture should automatically be saved uh, into the bottom part of your files. I said the tones are very distinctive so you can't really miss them and usually uh, 230 is the place where people hang out for SSTV. So you see that file there now has been saved on here. So that's SSTV and there's someone looks like he's go, going back to him now. There's someone else calling CQ. That's someone else calling CQ on the same frequency. So the least the less noise you get. I mean at the moment the signal is like an S5, so I've got quite a bit of noise. But you can still read what's getting sent. The less noise and the stronger signal, the better quality picture. So uh, it's it's a nice option. And again, you use exactly the same settings on your radio that you're using for FT8 and FT4. Uh, you just install the program, set your audio settings up. And that's it, it's basically there's nothing else to do. It's just gives you the string to your boat. Let's just try and see whether uh, there's a call sound pops up. I think it's Echo Alpha 6, Alpha Julia Tango. So it looks like uh, that's it looks like me, okay. Anyway, there's that. And then we can go to the other modes. Now, 
this program also does these modes, which you can see, so it does PSK, contest yes, it even does CW. Uh, most of the time I use Ritty, so I'll go to Ritty RT45. So I tune down the band again to the Ritty frequencies. There might not be anything here. Oh, yeah. And tune onto that. And you can see the decode. Yeah. So it's Italy, Quebec 9, Mike Oscar. There's a couple of stations transmitting. Uh, I've used RTTY quite a bit. I think it's a great mode. In fact, I'll see if I can I can change this guy's call sign and he tries to a CQ and he comes back. To see if I can make a contact. We'll give it a try anyway. So I'm transmitting now. I'm transmitting my his call sign back to him with my call sign. Uh, and see if you can hear me. Oh, you can hear me, yeah. I'll go back with a report for them. Again, if you want to on this, if you type in the bottom of here, you can actually have a real-time conversation. At the moment, these are done with macros, so I'm just sending them basically canned messages uh, with macros, which I've set up, which makes it easier for me to use. But you can just type... But well, my typing's not very good. I'm not very quick on the keyboard, so it's easier for me to do it this way. And then I've already got my next message set up. And I'll send my 7-3. Sorry, I'm just logging the call as I'm talking to you. So... Put in his report. I've logged in. That's basically it. And he's back to course GQ. If I want to go somewhere else, and click on him. That's decoding this. No. So. He's told us someone else now on Oscar Kilo. So, you've got other options. I've only shown you three. Uh, RTTY, SSTV and VARA, VARA HF. But it just goes to show... Let me just turn this off. It just goes to show, by using the same settings as you've got on your radio and install an extra little bit of software, uh, you can have a little bit more fun then you can just use an FT8 and FT4. A little bit more of a uh, string to your bow. I hope that helps you out a little bit. And uh, I'll wish you the best DX for uh, 2026. Say 7.3. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Bye-bye for now.